Alright guys, so I'm still here, if you guys remember from Bastion's previous uh, companion quest. I was over here in the Alakir Desert grinding, trying to get all of his weapons trained up and everything, and I'm pretty much done. The only thing I need to do left is uh, the weapon that he has currently equipped, which is almost done by the way. It's the Restoration Staff, and then I'm going to move on to Destruction Staff, which is going to be his final weapon and that's what he's going to stay as he's going to be a tank with a ice with an ice staff right and of course i'm training his light armor which is also almost done and then that's it that's going to be it he's going to go to heavy armor and we're going to call it a day with his training and we're going to move on to miri but in the process of doing so i ended up noticing that companion quest number two has been activated and to my understanding this is the last quest that needs to be done before we finish him off uh in terms of his story so I'm very excited to get this started guys. I obviously haven't done it before so uh, it has taken a long time to get to this point but admittingly it took a long time to get to the first companion quest because after we got to the first companion quest from the first to this one it was almost no time at all. I just came here in, in a, like two days of grinding here at uh, uh, in the Alakir Desert go uh, Dolmen grinding. I managed to get the final quest and it was pretty quick in retrospect so i'm pretty excited to get this started guys if you are too do me a huge favor drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel as well if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's just jump into them all right bastion i gotta talk to you bud i've been thinking about my sister clarine why would lord Silvel tell me she was dead all those years ago why didn't i end up with her after my mother's death I think it's time to get some answers. I'm missing some part of the story. I mean, I think it's pretty clear at this point that you're missing some point of the story. And if I have to assume anything based off of what happened in the last Companion Quest video, I think Lord Savell stole all of Bastion's inheritance. I, I firmly, firmly believe that. Uh, but we'll find out, I guess, in this video, right? Uh, what is it you want to do exactly? Now that I know Clarine is alive, I want to meet her. I don't hold any high expectations, but I need some answers. Okay. I want to begin by calling on her husband, Count Ozen. He's a well-known noble who often visits Wayrest on the realm's business. Uh, why go through him? Clarine has had decades to reach out to me. Either she doesn't know I'm alive, or she wants nothing to do with me. Either way, my return may be unwelcome. I should approach the matter with care. Would you come to Wayrest with me? Uh, of course, Bastion. You're you're my friend, bud. I got you. Yeah, I'll go to Wayrest. I'll help uh, find whatever answers you have. If Count or questions you have. Wayrest, we'll probably find him at the Cloudy Dregs Inn. Visiting nobles often stay there. I hope he can tell me something. After what I've learned about my mother's last wishes, I don't know what to think. Do you have any memories of your sister? I don't. I know she's about 18 years older than I am. I was a late-in-life child. According to my mother's servant, Analiath, Clarine went off to marry Elmond Ozen soon after I was born, just before the fall of House Halix. Uh, wouldn't your sister have tried to find you after your mother died? That's the question, isn't it? Why did she send me to the Silvells? Was her own situation too precarious? Did she not want the care of a child? Or perhaps she's dead. It's possible Analiath is mistaken, and Lord Silvel told me the truth. Uh, what do you know about Count Asli? Uh, 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 this guy. I've heard his name a time or two. Usually when Lord Silvel and his visitors got to talking about court gossip. The Ozens are a minor house with lands in the countryside of Stormhaven. Elmond Ozen is said to be respectable, at least. Do you think he'll meet with you? I don't see why he wouldn't. The taint on the Halleck's name makes other nobles uneasy. But that was many years ago now. Of course, if he didn't know about my mother's arrangements, he might be very surprised to learn he has a brother-in-law. Perhaps. So, I mean, I already know the answer to this, obviously, but I'm going to say it 
just to find out if he's gonna give us any new information, but remind me why you didn't ha uh, know you have a sister? Lord Silvell told me years ago that my older sister died. I assumed that she'd been caught up in my father's treason, or had fallen ill and passed away like my mother. I didn't learn I was wrong until a letter from an old Halleck servant turned up. A letter from a servant? Naliath, a wood elf. She wrote years ago, but Lord Silvell hid the letter. When I finally saw it, I went to find her in Broadwood. Naliath told me that Clarine was still alive, and that I should have been sent to her when my mother died. Yeah, I mean, I remember I was there, remember? Uh, well, I hope you find answers, Bastion. If Count Ozen's in Wayrest, we'll probably find him at the Cloudy Dregs Inn. Visiting nobles often stay there. I hope he can tell me something. After what I've learned about my mother's last wishes, I don't know what to think. I bet, buddy, I bet. Really quick, while we're still in this menu, I want to show you really quick. Right around here, I was grinding for about an hour prior to filming this video, but right around here is where I got the second quest. So it's like from here-ish, yeah, from like about right here-ish to here-ish, something like that, is both companion quests so yeah there's that but what i wanted to show you guys uh just as a reminder so i have everything maxed out i'm finishing this one up and then i'm gonna end up with this because uh i staff has uh it taunts right so and he's a fond of magic and stuff like that so i kind of want to give him a frost staff and you know have him be a tank i already have him set up since I'm almost done with the resto staff, and I'm going to replace this with Destructive Clench, or Blast, uh, uh, for Rejuvenation, and then that way he's already done. So, yeah, there's that. So, let's go ahead and go over to Wayrest and see what Cal, uh, what's his name? Auzin? Al I'm not going to lie to you guys, I can't pronounce that to save my life. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. So, Wayrest, well, that was a little stutter. Alright, let's go to Wayrest. This should be interesting to say the least, guys. I'm pretty excited to find out the finale. At least I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure. I looked at the achievements, and it says that he only has one more companion quest to right finish. And uh, I, I'm, get, I'm assuming it's this one. I think I'm right to assume that this is the last, last one. So, if it is true, we're going to find out exactly what happened. Uh, it's uh, right here. At the Cloudy Dregs Inn. Hello? Is he upstairs? Rhea, you oh. Do you bring news? Or are you here to deliver a demand? He looks upset. Maybe you should sound him out? Yeah! Count Elmond Azin. This is him, alright. This isn't a very good time, stranger. Be on your way. Unless you bring some new tidings about my wife. Tidings about your wife? What do you mean? What's going on? She's been captured by slavers. Clarine was on her way to visit a friend near Coglin when she was attacked. Luckily, one of her guards managed to trail the slavers to Coglin Mine. I must arrange a, a, a rescue at once. State your business swiftly. I'm here on behalf of Bastion Halix. He's looking for his sister. Bastion Halix? Yep, that's him. That's him over there, isn't it? just like his father. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but Clarine believes he died as an infant. After her family's scandal, I thought it best to distance her from the Halleck's name. So you told her Bastion was dead? I I'm afraid so. And I told the Silvells to let Bastion believe he had no family left. Wow. It was the safest course. Are the gods punishing me now for that choice? Oh, is it my fault that Clarine... Wait, you and Halleck seem able. You can save her. So it's all because of him. How would... First of all, how would keeping Bastion away from his sister be safer? Let me guess. Go do this for me and I'll tell you everything you need to know. After Lord Halix's treason, some of the king's counselors argued for executing the whole family to make sure no threat to the king remained. 
The only way to survive was to convince the king's officials that the Halix family no longer existed. Um... Surely king, the, uh, the king's officials knew Clarine was Lord Halix's daughter. Oh yes, of course they did. I had to convince them that my new wife was appalled by what her father had done and repudiated the Halix name. Not only was Clarine at risk, my own house might have fallen under suspicion of treason too. Were you protecting yourself or Clarine? I don't care for your insinuation. I love Clarine, and I feared for her life. But yes, I had my own title and family to think of. I was new to my title, and it would have been irresponsible to not consider House Ozin's safety too. This guy's kind of disgusting, to be honest. Uh, was Lord Silvell in on your scheme? He had no great liking. He was a staunch loyalist and took Lord Halix's plot against the High King as a personal offense. It took a rather exceptional inducement to persuade him to take in young Bastion. I'm assuming it was money. In the form of Bastion's inheritance. What manner of inducement? I... Well, I bribed him. Lady Halix had set aside a very substantial fortune in the form of jewels from her dowry for Bastion's education and upbringing. I suggested to Lord Silvell that he might be a wise steward of that fortune. Well, I mean, I was right in that assumption. <sighs> you... You let your own wife believe that her brother was dead? I made the decision many years ago when I was young and new to my title. And newly married to a woman I only wanted to protect. You left a young child with strangers. They brought me up as a, as a glorified servant. They were to use the funds you had to see to your education and raise you as a gentleman. It should have been her decision, not yours. I'm going to find my sister for her sake, not yours. Uh, I feel so bad for Bastion, man. I can only assume what he might be feeling. Count Ozin told Clarine I was dead. Yep. And he conspired with Lord Silvell to keep me in ignorance, too? Absolutely. What kind of life would I have had if these cowards had just told my sister and I the truth? Honestly, that's a good question. You could have done. He's so sad. Look at <laughs> Bastion. I get it, bro, but straighten out that face. It's a little weird. Okay, but anyways. <laughs> the Count says he did it to protect his wife and you. I... I suppose I can understand that. If the choice was telling a lie or risking the gallows for my sister, then Ozin made the right decision. It isn't cowardice to fear for someone you love. And it's clear that he fears for Clarine now. I mean, I guess that's fair, but you could have always just left, started over, you know what I mean? I don't know. There, I think there's other ways than to keep everyone in the dark and lying in this fashion. I don't know. I, I guess I could understand both sides in this situation. Let me know down in the comment section what you would have done had you been on the Count's, uh, in the Count's shoes. But anyways... Uh, Count Alzin said the slavers are in Kor blah 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 mine. I know the place. Bandits and outlaws often layer there. I'll sort out the rest of this later, after we make sure Clarine is safe. I couldn't bear it if I got so close to finding her, only to lose her now. Oh no, I bet. Yeah, that's to the to the mine then. Lord Silvell told me more than once that I should be grateful that he didn't just drop me off at some orphanage or another. But this whole business of buried secrets and deliberate lies is infuriating, regardless of the reasons for it. You know, this right here I agree more with. It's like, I can understand the reasoning behind the Count. It doesn't change the fact that it's infuriating, as Bastion says. It's my fame. Um, Bastion, I freaking hate your face right now, dude. Uh, do you believe Count Ozen's story? 
It makes sense <coughs> that the Count wanted to protect my sister. I could almost forgive that. But I suspect he was also interested in protecting his own good name. I can't help but wonder about the life I could have had if he'd chosen differently. Yeah, no, I get it, man. Did the Savelles uh, mistreat you at all? No. I was much better off than if I'd been left at an orphanage. But I wasn't family, and I wasn't quite the help. If I hadn't met you, I would have spent the rest of my life looking after the Savelles' interests without ever really belonging. Yeah, man, I get it, Bastion. I get it 100%. Fix your face, Bastion. My god. All right, let's just go save your sister, buddy. Come on. <laughs> that sad face is just it, it's a it's it's incredible. Okay, so let, let's see how far it is. Is it still here in Stormhaven? It is. Actually, You know what? I'm just going to I don't care that there's a a thing around here, a way shrine. Actually, you know what? It's literally right behind us. Is it? I don't even see it. Alright, yeah, screw it. Screw it. Let's go, Bastion. Hey, hey, you turned out great anyways, man. You're a good guy with a good heart, and now you're a battle mage. I've always loved battle mages, by the way. Uh, where is the... Okay, over here. Bastion, to the mine! It's only 131 gold to fast travel to the Wayshrine Shrine anyway, so it's not like I lost a lot of money. Alrighty. Find well found it. I'm not the praying sort, but I'm praying my sister is unharmed. Slavers are no joke. Yeah, man. Times of distress would definitely bring out some religious feelings out of out of a person, right? That much is for sure. That loading screen was ridiculous. Oh, I've been here before. I've already cleared it. Alright, no worries. No worries. Let's just go to the mine. I don't know why I put a thing there if I have a map marker there. Bastion. We got some butt kicking to do. Eventually. There's like nobody around. Oh, Look this here. is the exit. The stranger's loss might be our gain. Oh, heavy sack is what she said hello hello bastion set up as a heal I really don't like bastion as a healer to be honest mainly because I'm a tank and I don't do a lot of DPS anyway so I kind of like my companions being the DPS people don't worry bastion they won't hit you because they're gonna hit me I don't know why I have rapid maneuver still on. I was using rapid maneuvers over at the at the at the dolmens just so that I could be a little bit faster. I normally don't have it. After this fight, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Whoa. I'm gonna put what I normally put right there. Okay. Wait, is there somebody else? There is. Where'd you come from? You get over here too. Go ahead and hit me. I have a master healer by my side. Who isn't much of a healer, to be honest. Okay, so weapon, sword and shield, heroic slash. There you go. And now... I'm... Oh, I got stuck. Now I'm back to normal. Ah! Uh, mm. There we go. Now I'm not scared to use my... My heroic slash, because the heroic slash gives you like minor or major, minor or major heroism, something like that. It basically gives you like ultimate regen, basically. Courage brings victory. If you say so, Bastion, I believe you. You're a very courageous guy. Okay, we're literally right around the corner. And I got my ultimate back. Don't tell me what to do, Bastion. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. Not really. 
Haha! -ha. It's kind of funny though because every single time they hurt me, I have the Radiant Bastion set so uh, equipped it. So every single time they hit me, they hit themselves too. If you had any brains, you'd flee now. Ooh. Oh, they're heavy though. Don't worry. Uh, what was that? Oh, this talk to her. Whoever you are, untie me so I can get away from these villains. I can see to it that you are well rewarded for your help. Uh, first of all, don't tell me what to do. Second of all, I'll do it. Did my husband send? Oh, never mind. Let's get out of here. I kind of gotta talk to you. I thank you, stranger. Those slavers intended to demand a ruinous ransom for my return. Whether they meant to honor their word is another question entirely. Let's be on our way before more of them find us. Girl, you are safe. You don't even have to worry. I know you're not a warrior type, but me and Bastion, we're like two peas in a pod. I'm a tank, and people love to try to fight me, even though they always lose. And I have like a ton of health. Also, there's a heavy sack right here. Hello, what's this? I gotta take this guy out first, though. And then Bastion is a battle mage now. Oh, somebody behind me! Ah! Uh, you won't win. Dunzo. Where's that sack? There it is. Okay. Nothing exciting, but it's okay though. Hopefully everyone stayed dead. It kind of seems that way. That way I could just straight up run outside. Bingo. That was easy enough. I'm exhausted. Uh, honestly, I don't really need There's this. The door. I, I know. All right, let's talk to the countess. This this conversation should be extreme, like really I interesting. That I'm free. How can I thank my gallant rescuers? Well, first of all, you need to know who's next to me. First of all, are you gonna stop or what? All right. Whoa! I didn't mean to roll. I am Countess Clarine Ozen. I had hoped that my husband's troops would rescue me from that awful mine, but I don't recognize you. No matter, you have my deepest gratitude, strangers. How did you know where to find me? Uh, Count Ozen actually told us the of the dangers you were in. Did he? Oh, I prayed that one of the guards had managed to get through to him. Elmond must have... Well... That's nice. All right, let's get back to the where we were. I had hoped that my husband. We were in. Oh, oh, I prayed that one of the guards had managed to get through to him. Elmond must have. That is. I'm sorry, but your companion. Who is he? He looks just like someone I knew a long time ago. Uh, you might have actually. My companion is uh, his name is Bastian Halix, as a matter of fact. What happened? Did Bastion unsummon himself? Wow, this... I think it's gonna crash again. It's definitely gonna crash again, I'm, I'm telling you right now. It won't even let me get my companion out. Or take out my weapon or nothing. It's definitely gonna crash. The game is acting a little rescuers. funky today, isn't it? Okay, we'll get this fixed though. I don't know what's going on really, but all right, let's see. I am Countess Clarine. Ozzie. Told me you were in. My companion is Bastion oh, Halix. What? How is this Bastion? My baby brother? I thought he was dead. By the eight, of course he looks familiar. He takes after our father. Oh, excuse me, please. I am quite overcome. He'd been told that you were dead, too. Look at him. He was so small when I left our home. Our parents were so excited to have another child so late in their marriage. 
Where has he been all this time? How did he come to find me now? You know, I think it's probably better if I let you both speak. Bastion? The last time I saw you, you were only a toddler. I did not even know that you were alive. I only just learned that you were alive. I wish... I wish I'd known sooner. You look so much like our father. But you probably have no memories of him, do you? Sadly, I do not. Nor you, Clarine. I would... Mm. I would like to find out what I've missed. I as well. Oh, I have so many questions for you. Did you know you have a niece and nephew to meet? I would like that. And I have many questions for you, too. But first, let me speak to my friend here. Aww. That's, that's cute, man. It, it is. Clarine is a stranger to me, of course. But part of me feels like I know her somehow. She said I favored my... Our? <clears throat> father. I've always wondered about that. She appears as pleased uh, to find you as you are to find her. Indeed. I confess, I was a little worried that she might not have much to say to me. After all, she's a countess, and we are strangers. Clarine seems kind, though. I like her already. That feels rather good. She certainly, uh, seems willing to treat you as family. Which is something the Silvels could never do. She has a good heart, I believe. It's strange. I left the Silvels because I wanted to find my own place in the world. Discovering a family I thought I lost? It roots you properly, so to speak. Do you want to stay in West, uh, way rest with her? Not yet. <coughs> right now, I still want travel and adventure. Being part of my sister's family is something that will happen with time. Thank you for seeing this through. I think I'd rather face a dozen dragons than the ghosts of the past. It's true. Yay, we get Bastion as a Halix to see uh, furniture. So yeah, so I was right in what I... Well, I wasn't right, but some the people who told me that completing his quest gives you him as a furnishing for like your house is right. Which means I can't wait to get Miri. But uh, diligent and steadfast heroes like Bastion Halix still need time to unwi uh, unwind. His chivalrous charm is sure to brighten up any room. After adding Bastion to your home, you can set him on a path plus you and your visitors can speak with him. Obtained by completing family quests, uh, family secrets quests, okay. Uh, talkative. So I wonder, I wonder what he says. Let's go ahead and collect this. So this is complete then. Oh, here they go. Oh, Clarine, are you alright? Clarine, I've been worried sick. Thank the eighth that you are all right. All is well, Elmond. The heroes you sent succeeded, and I have something extraordinary to tell you. I know, my dear, I know. An old wrong can be set right today. I, I feared for your life. I know I should have told you about Bastion, but, but I will earn your forgiveness and his, I promise you. Is that it? She's not going to respond to that? Um, okay, well, let's go to my house, a.k.a. the guild hall. And see... What happens. I can't wait to put him down at the guild hall, man. It's going to be freaking awesome, dude. I can't wait. And also, I wonder if he's going to keep his outfit. That would be great, honestly. I don't think that's the case. I think he's probably going to wear, like... Uh, I don't know. Let me see. F5. Browse. House guests. Bastion. Place. I don't have enough for this. So, let's go ahead. You need to go away. And Bastion. I'm ready to face. Bastion is definitely going in. I don't know where I want to put him, though. I guess we'll put him right here in the middle. 
I'll probably put them somewhere uh, afterwards. What we do today will likely be forgotten tomorrow, but let's do it anyway. Is that all you say? I'm ready to face anything. Oh, he just says this typical stuff. The warrior who has never been defeated is the warrior who has never truly fought. Lord Silvel taught me that a good horse is smarter than his rider, but under no circumstances should the horse be allowed to know this. <laughs> okay, he just says some random stuff. I am pretty happy that we finally got Bastion to meet his sister. Finally. All right, so I came to grind and I was going to check up on Bastion's progress and I noticed that he had a little bit of extra lines to say. So uh, I'm going to talk to him and see what he has to say and then throw it into the video and it'll be like a little bonus. So let's go ahead and talk to him. I don't even know where to begin. My sister and I haven't seen each other in 25 years. She remembers me as a two-year-old child and I don't remember her at all. What if we have nothing in common besides a name? I mean, I'm sure you'll figure it out, Bastion. You're a good guy with a big heart and with a, you know, a head on your, good head on your shoulder. So you'll figure it out. For the first time since we started down this road, I think I believe that too. But we have so much lost time to make up for. And the thought that I missed the chance to be a part of this family decades ago is almost too much to bear. I mean, I get that, man. I, I really do, but that, that's something that you're going to have to figure out. I'm here by your side along the way, but quick question. Can you forget Count uh, Ozen for that, though? For all I know, Elmond Ozen saved my sister's life by lying to her. And it's obvious that he loves her with all his heart. They are happy together. For my sister's sake, I can set aside old sorrows. But I am done with the Silvels. He is a good dude, man. He is a really good dude. And look at him. He looks like a handsome young man. And he looks so much better with a smile on his face and not that ugly, disgusting frown that he's been having. Because <laughs> that frown, if you guys remember, all you gotta do is rewind this video a little bit. That frown was horrible. Horrible, horrible. He looks great now. He looks all happy and stuff, man. I'm I'm happy for Bastion. I hope nothing for the, but the best for him. But yeah. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this little mini series, guys. This was obviously just a two-part little tiny series with Bastion and his uh, and his storyline, right? It was only two quests, so we managed to get that bit in two videos. And I, I actually kind of liked it. It was kind of sweet, kind. The fact that Bastion is just a good dude in general. He's a little goody two-shoes, so you can't really do a lot of bad things like stealing and stuff because he does not like that at all. But the fact that he's a good dude in general and the fact that we got to help him through some of his big struggles kind of makes me happy. I'm only curious now what Miri's side of the quest lines is going to happen. Once I'm done with Bastion grinding uh, his last two weapons, I'm going to start grinding for Miri in terms of rapport so that I can you know, basically do her story quests here on the channel. If you're excited for that, or if you enjoyed this tiny little series, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.